Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel today. What's the fuss? Well, today I have for you a Walmart haul. Uh, I had to go in the Walmart and pick up a few items, and um, also right behind this video, I'm going to have a short one. Um, I got some wax melt and a few candles at Walmart also, so it'll be two separate videos. Um, need to go pick up some supplies. We, we, um, need it. And a couple treats we got. Uh, I didn't really have that many treats left in the house. So, um, needed to get some snacks. Sometimes, you know, you're just itching for a piece of candy or, um, you're craving something salty or whatever it be. Okay. This is in no particular order. Um, my husband swears by this, so <laughs> we buy it all the time. Um, this is the two-in-one bowl and brush, um, disinfect by Lysol 99.9, .9, uh, kills 99.9% .9 of germs and viruses. So this is the 24 ounce bottle. My husband, uh, picked this up in Walmart, of course, you know, for the toilets and stuff like that. Um, and he also picked up a dual pack. Um, usually I pick three up at a time. I don't know why I just didn't get two fours, but I mean two twos, not two fours. I don't know why I just didn't get two of these. I don't know. So he picked up a single one, and then he also picked up the dual pack. Um, we find that this works really great. This, these are 24-ounce bottles, and this was 24-ounce. Um, this works really terrific, especially on hard water stains. In, in your toilets, you know, um, minerals, calciums, deposits that ha um, find their way sticking to the toilet um, bowl and the open part, you know, where new water comes in, the old stuff goes out. Yeah, um, we swear by this. He dumps it in, he lets it sit overnight for many hours and then takes a brush to it the next morning and it cleans up like a gem. This is all we buy. I've tried other kind of toilet bowl cleaners and they just don't seem to cut the job, especially for, like I said, hard water stains. So got this. Then, um, just put this over, side, over here because it's going to go in two of the toilets um, immediately. Getting those hard water stains and there's nothing more disgusting than looking at hard water stains on a toilet. All right, um, picked up a loaf of the, um, what is they call them, this one, the French bread. This is usually like $1.47, $1.49. Almost every day in your Walmart, you can get this for $1.95. Or $1, not $1.95, a dollar or 95 cents. I'm going to have them marked down. So that's the, some of this fresh bread. It's great, you know, you want to cut this open and make a homemade big sub out of this. If you want to um, dress it up with, you know, um, grilled onions and cheddar cheese and bake it. And then you can have it like that um, on the top. Of course, homemade garlic bread. Lots of different things that you can do with the French bread. So, got a nice um, loaf of this for a buck. It's definitely worth it. Um, this is 14 ounces, by the way. It's right there. So we got one of these. The only thing with this kind of bread, you have to use it within three days tops. Otherwise, it's going to get moldy. It's going to get crusty. Uh, might get soggy. It can get anything other than because it doesn't have a lot of preservatives in. Okay, then <clears throat> picked up some pizzas. Um, my husband, he wanted to get the um, rising crust. This is the great value. He had this so many times over the years. Um, this is a 27.65 ounce um, pepperoni pizza uh, topped with tomato sauce, mozzarella, and povolone uh, and pepperoni. And the pepperoni, of course, is made with pork, chicken, and beef. So, my husband likes a pepperoni pizza every now and then, frozen, other than pizzeria versions, you know, from an actual pizzeria. Um... He likes this in a hurry, um, or sometimes when he's sitting down to watch a game or some um, cops and robbers, I'd call it. Um, these very loud, obnoxious uh, machine gun type movies. I'm not talking about war 
um, you know, Civil War or I'm talking about the, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger and all those kind of loud, explosive movies like that. Uh, um, what's his name? Diesel, the Diesel guy. Um, I can't remember. You know who I'm talking about. Those actors. He has put on those loud programs. And then he wonders, you know, forget it. Just, just forget I said anything. Yeah, so he got a box of his pepperoni pizza self-rising i picked these up for the first time ever i thought um well i like pizza rolls from this company of course they make burritos and a whole bunch of other stuff but i never picked these up before and i thought these are just perfect for you know when i want to eat something quickly or a day where i'm just not too too hungry either way or a snack watching television these are the totino's um, this here is the 10.9, 10.9 ounce pizza. This is pretty big in here. It's a big, like a big little rectangle, I would say. Um, these can be done in your oven or a toaster oven. Um, not sure if you could put these in an air fryer. I'm not really sure, but these were $1.97 cents. And this one is um, the party pizza, it's calling it. This is the Supreme, which has sausage, pepperoni, seasoned pork, chicken, and beef, pizza topping with onions and green peppers. This is the Supreme one. Um, make sure you cook it thoroughly, it says. So I picked one of these up in the Supreme. It says... That the serving size in here is two so you cut this straight down the middle and you get quite a big slice you can probably even cut this in fours um but yeah i picked up three of the supreme for myself for those days you know, like i just mentioned i got three supremes right here then i also picked up one there was only one to choose from there's only one left till they restock again um, this is the triple cheese right here. Same thing. I also seen um, regular pepperoni and something called triple pepperoni or something like that. Something with more pepperoni. I seen combination, which is pepperoni and sausage. Also, I seen hamburger and I seen a few others. So, yeah, I thought these are just perfect for my need. So, got those. Also picked these up. These were two fifty eight a bag. It's twenty ounces, which is one pound four ounces. This is your pepper and onion blend if you're in a hurry, or you, or um, if peppers are too expensive, which they really are in Walmart right now. A lot of grocery stores are charging a lot for the bell pepper. So these are just the red and green bell pepper with onions. This goes great with so many dishes, people. So many things you can use these for. So got those also. Then, hold on a moment, please. All right, sorry about that. Hubby needed me. Then I picked up the Great Value Root Beer Cellar. This is the two liter. These were a dollar. There's some other flavors you can choose from too. I thought I'd get root beer. All right, then, let me see here. I have to reach, I'm sorry. Okay, then, I had to pick up some more half and half. This time I was able to find the half a gallon. Uh, 64 ounces, the great value, just ordinary every day, half and half. This is original. I think they also sell fat-free, like all these stuff. So, got the big gallon one. I use a lot of this. Also picked up... Hmm, some of these Quaker apple cinnamon rice cakes. This is 6.53 ounces. You get two packages inside this one envelope. There's two separate ones. And each one has seven in. So you get 14 of the 
Apple cinnamon cakes, these are great just by themselves. They're great with a piece of cheese. They're great with peanut butter, whatever you want to put on them. Me and my husband love these. We haven't had them for some time, no. Um, for, sometimes I forget to pick them up. But I picked up two bags of these, the rice cakes. Of course, there's other flavors. I've seen caramel. I've seen chocolate. I've seen, um, I think, a multigrain one. And, and I've seen just original. So, yeah, picked up some of the rice cakes. Also picked up, oh, let's see, we're getting into the sweet sweet now. Like I said, I had to pick up some sweets. Sometimes you're sitting here and you're thinking to yourself, oh, God, I wish I had something to munch on. So, um, this might seem like a lot, but we're not eating this all in one or two days. So, this will last, you know, for probably a month. Um, at least the candy. We're not, you know, eating a candy bar and devouring the whole thing at one time. I picked up another one of the giant side. Now, they do have the extra large, but the giant is bigger than the extra large. These here are 7.37 ounces. Um, no, it says now with more cookie in it. This is the cookies and cream bar. I love these, and there's a recipe on the back of these. That you can add these to your brownies if you made homemade brownies so i love the cookies and cream one i picked up one of these for myself and i picked up three of the same thing 7.37 ounces i don't know what i'm saying half the time people um this is the hershey giant also this has um 25 pieces in it it says right here 25 pieces of when you break the bar down. Um, this one here is the milk chocolate with the almonds. Me and my husband like this one a lot. So I picked up three of those. Got three of these. And then they're $2.96 or $2.97, something like that. Okay, then I picked up some more um, sweet. Depends on what you're looking for. I'm just happy to get any size. Um, I usually do like those, what they call them, the um, peanut butter lovers or something. It's the big cup of the Reese's. But right now, they're like something like $8 for a package of them. And I think you only get um, maybe 12 in there. I'm not sure, but I think about 12. Well, anyway, this year you get 12 of the point. Five five ounce cup. You get twelve of these. This is the snack size in the Reese's cups. This way, you get twelve bars in here, or twelve cups. These were um, two thirty seven or something. So I haven't had some Reese's in some time. So picked up two packages because me and my husband both love them. And like I said, we're not going to devour the whole pack in one sitting. So got some of those. Also, we are on a Oreo kick again. Um, bought some Oreos last time I was in the store. Um, they were the Mega Stuffs, but I think it was just the standard... Um, package it might have said family size or something on it well this is a little bit bigger one they're calling it the party size this here is one pound 9.35 ounces so it's over a pound it's a little over a half a pound and a half yet um, this is the chocolate sandwiches and the mega stuff we love these I'd sit and I'd like a few of these with a cup of coffee um Glass of milk, whatever. My husband loves them too. I like the mega stuffs. The doubles are okay, but the mega you get a little more extra icing in. Um, the mega is what the double stuffers used to be when I was growing up as a kid. But yeah, I had to splurge and get the real Oreos. Love them. Um, like I said, cup of coffee, glass of milk, whatever. A few Oreos, you know, and. That's a little snack there. Not the whole package in one setting. So we've got some Oreos. Also picked up. I, I am not finding combos. 
if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't really care for the cracker combos, but I do love the pretzel ones. I can't seem to find them in any of my Walmarts, including my up the hill where I went tonight. Nope, I can't find combos. I don't know what the hell the story is that Walmart is not selling combos. So, um, my next choice, since I can't find them, is the Snyder's of Hanover, Pennsylvania. These are the pretzel pieces. I love these just the same, but I would like some combos. Um, this is 11.25 ounce bag. These come in a lot of different flavors. The broken up, you know, um, pieces of the thicker pretzel. And then they're coated. It's a big flavor. I love the cheddar cheese ones. So I picked up two bags of these for myself, so I'll have them. And, of course, these come in tons of flavors. There's hot buffalo wing flavor. There's um, ranch. There's so many different ones. My husband, I like this one, like these ones, too. But I'll wait till I go to Walmart again to get another package. And whenever that'll be, some days from now. Um, this is also 11.25 ounces. This is like the first flavor they ever came out with many moons ago. I remember eating these when I was a teenager. Um, this is the original honey, mustard, and onion flavored ones. I used to love these. My husband loves them too. So we picked up two packages of these. And we're going to get some more of these. Um, I like the cherry cheese in these the best. And that's what my husband likes too. So, got those also. And then, and then, people. And then, I need some salt. I don't buy salt that often. Um, usually, it lasts me for some time. We don't douse it all over. I use a little bit of it in cooking and some things just to put a little salt on. And when I say little, I mean a little. I do not go through boxes and boxes of salt. Um, some households, they go through it like crazy. Um, this lasts me for a good couple months, let me tell you. Um, this is 26 ounces. This is the iodine salt. It doesn't really matter, but we picked this up. My salt shaker is like half empty. So I figured I better get it while I was there. But like I said, I don't use a lot of salt. A lot of stuff already has so much salt in it, you don't need to add more salt. So, got a salt and also had to pick up more sugar. Yep, I've been making so much homemade um, fresh lemonade um, with real fresh lemons. And I'm going through the sugar. So, I had to get more. These are the four pounders, which is a better deal than the ten pounder. If you buy two fours, you save money um, and get get more for your money that way than if you bought just a straight 10 pound bag so two more of the four pounders a piece um once we get out of the summer i won't be using as much sugar as i am now because of fresh lemons and stuff um we'll be going back to just my iced coffees and stuff like that and sodas um possibly some juices i'll be getting um, but right now, because the lemons are season, I'm making a lot of lemonade. That's why I'm going through so much sugar. So that's everything that I got from Walmart um, concerning um, consumption <laughs> of food and um, drink. So, um, and treats. So I'm going to show you in the next video what I bought down in the wax aisle and candle aisle. So if you liked this video, it was short and sweet, thumbs it up. And if you just watch me for the first time, subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And also, um, like and share. And, yep, everyone, I'll see you on the next video right after this one. Thank you for watching, everyone. I appreciate everyone who watches and subscribes to my channel. It helps my channel grow, and, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. So long, everyone. Bye-bye.